Hey everybody, Professor Kennedy here with this week's Raiders Review. Great win by the boys down in Los Angeles. A number of players received the game ball, including Hunter Renfro, who finished with seven catches for 107 yards. It's a great day for this young man and welcome back from that rib injury. I said on the broadcast, if you listen, that a number of times to Brent, I cringe every time he took a shot because I know how painful a rib injury is. But the guy showed a great deal of grit and was able to make some key plays and some key catches to help the Raiders bring home a victory. Let's take a look at the few. Very early in the game, Hunter Renfro had an immediate impact on the outcome. What we're going to do is we're going to read the safeties first and foremost if you're Derek. You see a single high safety, so you know you've got one deep and you've got man coverage underneath. Now the way that Derek's going to read it is he's going to have a double slant. One by Tyrell, one by Hunter. This linebacker is his read. If the linebacker jumps Tyrell, he goes to Hunter because he's going to be open with a great deal of space. The great job is that he shows great patience. Derek shows great patience and waiting for Hunter to come open, then hits him in stride. Hunter does the rest. Let's take a look. Derek knows he's got coverage. Tyrell's jumped by the linebacker, and now this linebacker can't be right. Hunter Renfro's hit right in stride, takes a little bit of a shot, but keeps his momentum moving forward. The single high safety makes a bad angle, and it's a touchdown for the Raiders. You know, one of the hardest things about playing someone in your division is that not only they know you, but you know them. The Raiders know the Chargers like to run a lot of cover two in this instance, in this part of the field. So what they're going to do is they're going to do a three-man route combination and give Derek Carr options as he flood the zone. They're going to flood it into the boundary. Zay Jones is going to run a deep out to try to occupy the safety. Darren Waller is going to run a medium out that's going to occupy either the corner. And then Hunter Renfro is going to run a drag across the field. The reason why this becomes a three-level read is you put the stress on the outside corner. If the corner jumps Hunter Renfro, you have Darren Waller the deep out. If the safety jumps this tight end, then you have Zay Jones at the, at the height of the point for the touchdown. And then because the corner stayed back on this play, you're going to have Hunter Renfro come wide open on the drag route and get a first down to keep the ball moving. Take a look at it. It says, you see the safety draw out. Zay occupies the safety. Darren takes the corner. And look who comes open underneath. Again, the corner cannot be right because if he jumps Hunter Renfro's route, then you throw it to Darren Waller on the mid-range out. Now it becomes crunch time. Raiders have to drive and they have to get down the field. It's a critical down, third down and five. The big thing that you want for your receivers is that whatever route you're running, you make sure you get enough depth to get the first down if the throw is completed. Even if it's tight coverage, the quarterback has a job of getting you the football, you have the job of catching it, but you also want to make sure that you have enough for the first down. Hunter is right here. And he's going to run an option route. If the guy plays him inside, he goes out. If the guy jumps inside, outside, he comes in. But the great thing is that Hunter gets enough down, gets enough yards to get the first down once the throw is made and he catches the football. Let's take a look. Look how Hunter pressures the man that covers him. He sees where the linebacker is sitting. He turns out. Now, this is a critical spot. Derek has to be accurate because he knows Hunter's going to get hit by the corner or the coverage nickel man. But look at there. He gets the first down, keeps the change moving. So in closing, it's great to have Hunter Renfro back in the field. I thought after the injury he took in the New York Jets, it was going to be a long time before we see him again. More importantly, I appreciate the chemistry that's developed between Derek Carr and his receivers like Hunter Renfro, Zay Jones, Terrell Williams, et cetera, et cetera. This is only going to be good for the team moving forward. This team has a bright future with a good young nucleus and a good chemistry between receiver and quarterback like this. This can be very promising for days to come. So it was a great win for the Raiders against the Chargers. And I'll see you later this week as we break down the Broncos.